All right, I'm going to try to focus on this one comment from Seeking Susan. She says, you may have heard of this explanation, which is all speculation, but it is interesting. Some have said that history might have been different had all Israel accepted Jesus, believed his word, and followed him. The thinking goes that Jesus would still have been crucified, buried, resurrected, so that we, whomsoever will, might have eternal life, and for the grafting in of the Gentiles, etc. But maybe some suggest that some of the details might have been different. Luke. Luke, uh, saying if, uh, let me read this. Saying, if thou had known, even now, at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hid from thine eyes, for the days shall come upon thee that thine enemy shall cast a trench about thee and compass thee round and keep thee in on every side and shall lay thee even with the ground and thy children within thee and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation bear with me I'm gonna take a wild guess Yep, yeah, there it is. Okay, thank you. All right, Luke, <clears throat> Luke 19. All right, so in Luke 19, the question becomes, what were the things that would have belonged unto thy peace if they knew the time of his visitation? All right, so I got to stop right there. It doesn't say his visitation, it says thy visitation. So, if we go back here to Luke 19, verse 20, uh, 40, uh, yeah, 44, thy visitation. So, thy visitation would be your trouble. All right, so visitation, uh, I guess it could be, it can be a little confusing, I guess. Uh, so, in the context of this, the thy visitation means thy trouble, when trouble visits you. All right. Uh, they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another, because thou knewest not the time of thy trouble, or thy visitation. Uh, that's all it simply means. Um, it's just a variation of a word that's related to trouble. All right. And it's not... It's not uh, his trouble, but it's the trouble that comes upon you. All right, just get that out of the way. Some assume that the destruction of the temple would not have occurred if they knew the time of his visitation should be thy visitation, your visitation. So let me read this again. And shall lay you even with the ground and your children within you. And they shall not leave in you one stone upon another, because you knewest not the time of your visitation. That's one way to look at it. The reason why you don't want to uh, say it that way is because it's difficult to discern that when you say you, are you talking about uh, singular or plural? In other words, are you talking about you specifically, or are you talking about a group of people? And so typically, the word you would mean a group of people, but thy would mean singular you. All right, so anyways. Uh, some assume that the destruction of the temple would not have occurred if they knew the time of thy visitation. This speculation is irrelevant, of course, because Jesus knew what would transpire. He knew they were of their father, the devil. So yeah, uh, that's right. So every, in my opinion, it's like, uh, people that speculate, well, what if Adam and Eve would have never eaten from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? Well, uh, it was meant to happen that way. All right. This, everything that happened, you know, I look, it's like I look at uh, the things that I've done in my life and just embarrassed by some of the stupidest things that I've done in my life. And it seems like it's every day I do one stupid thing after another and I can't do nothing about it. I'm just stupid, but 
you know, I, I think sometimes things, I mean, I, I don't think sometimes, I, I, I believe that things happen for a reason. I mean, if I hadn't have done all the dumb things that I've done in my life, that perhaps I wouldn't be who I am today, right? So we all make mistakes. That's life. Uh, things are meant to happen. And if, if these things didn't happen, we wouldn't have eternal life in the Lord Jesus Christ. So um, to your point, everything that's happened uh, did happen for a reason. Um, the Okay, so the issue I have here, let me, let me finish reading and then I'll give my thoughts. Here we go. We know that only two of the original Hebrews, Joshua and Caleb, were able to enter into the promised land, but that did not make the promise any less valid for the others. As we know, they did not enter because of fear and unbelief. All right, so f let me just say this here. It's it's important, I think, to under it's very important to understand that the promise was made to Abraham and his seed. He saith not seeds as in, as in many, but seed as in one, and to thy seed which is Christ. So if the promise was to Abraham and his seed, which is Christ. And if you be Christ, if you be in Christ, then are you Abraham's seed? and heirs according to the promise. The, the speculation is that the destruction in 70 AD would not have occurred. Also speculation again that life expectancy would have increased for all of the people who lived until Jesus' second coming. If Israel had knew the time of thy visitation, your trouble, thy troubles, and accepted him as the Messiah, for the verses in question, there would be no disease so that, that infants would not die in infancy per the verse, and all men would live a long life and fulfill his days, question mark. Everyone would die of old age. It would be like a type shadow of things to come, meaning eternal life when Jesus returned. Again, all speculation, but interesting. Okay, so the, the um, you know, the life expectancy is told to us specifically and let me take a wild guess revelation no 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 psalm 19 let's see how far off i am if i can even find it if i can even find it i can't find it never mind it's not there it is hold on psalm 90 way off man my goodness the days of our years are three score years and ten that's 70 years and if by reason of strength they be four score four score years so 80 years so you know that's our life expectancy some live longer some live not as long but typically a normal life would be 70 to 80 years all right so, what I want to touch upon here is the temple, all right? <laughs> this is what drives me nutty, all right? So, let me try to be as, um, you know, calm and cool and collected about this as possible. The temple was destroyed, but not in 70 A.D., and this drives me crazy it really does so people that suggest the temple was destroyed in 70 AD it's a show right it they're telling me I don't understand the scripture at all and I wonder if they even believe the Bible or if they've even read the Bible all right so I got that out of the way them are some harsh words huh but let's make this easy to understand. When Jesus said he would destroy the temple in three days, build it back up, he was talking about his body, not Herod's temple. All right, what, what is that verse? In, in three days, you're going to destroy this temple that in 
we spent 46 years or whatever it was building this sucker up and you're telling me you're gonna destroy it and build it back up in three days are you crazy then said the Jews forty and six years was this temple and building and won't that rear it up in three days are you out of your cotton pick in mind of course Jesus wasn't talking about any temple made with hands he was talking about his body being the temple and so he destroyed the temple by allowing them to kill him and then he rebuilt the temple in three days and so now all of us that are believers in him are in his temple if you will and also have eternal life as he has eternal life and we will also resurrect as he has resurrected we will follow we follow him and we will follow him for all eternity okay those of us that are saved right we have eternal life because of what he did because he destroyed the temple because he rebuilt the temple this idea this is why I say this I the 70 AD stuff it's not related to anything at all in the Bible unless you want to relate it to deceivers and false prophets and false teachers that's the only relevance 70 AD has in the Bible because this is what people that have no understanding whatsoever teach there is no relevance to 70 AD in anywhere in the Bible at all it's clear as day Jesus destroyed the temple and he rebuilt the temple 70 AD is not the temple all right, I could say it over and over, but just read the Bible, I guess. All right, but thanks for the comment, Seeking, seeking Susan. I apologize if I'm a little bit harsh on my wording, but I want you to get this right. I want everybody to get this right. Don't get carried away with these ideas of 70 AD that have absolutely no relevance to the Bible at all whatsoever. Now, the good thing about these sort of false teachers is that they help us to strengthen our viewpoint that they help us to understand the Bible more clearly they challenge us and they sharpen us right so it's a anytime you have a, a, a comment like this and you you framed it perfectly by saying um, speculation and interesting and all that sort of stuff so uh, you did that just right all right perfectly so good job out of you and keep keep uh keep the comments going i i didn't i'm not sure if i saw that one no, i liked it so i must have saw it but anyways appreciate it seeking susan if you have any uh, follow-ups uh, let me know